Hello, here I'm going to continue from my previous uh, video of major assignments 3. Uh, we already enter the interest rates for each given year and month using the, the last tab. Alright, once you have this interest rate entered here on cell B18, C18 and D18, right? Once you enter those values, the inter the APR is gonna pop up here, okay? All right, now table six is about sponsorship. We're gonna invest a fixed amount, um, which is a twenty six point four percent of your total projected uh, cost. Uh, on cell B32 to compute that, enter equal the percentage which is 26.4 times your projected cost. It's going to give you your uh, principal amount that you can invest in a bank or any financial institute, um, which is 11,511.25 uh, cents. All right, they're going to pay you 3.6%. Um, annual is going to compound, annual compound. It's going to compound once in a year. All right. That means you're going to get interest once in a year. So the number of compound means how many times it's going to compound per year, which means one time. Going to enter one. All right. The number of years. Going to leave the money for the next five years. All right. So you're going to deposit just one time, but you're going to earn interest rate uh, that's compounding once in a year. All right, that means you're going to use compound uh, interest formula that's given to you in the um, your instruction or your assignment. So you're going to go to this page and you're going to find the, uh, the compound interest formula that's already uh, given to you on this page all right as assignment three instruction all right so you're gonna click the formula for compound interest formula okay copy and paste I'm gonna copy and paste here all right just basically you just Interval given value uh, for the principal is the amount that you're going to invest, right? 11,511.5. R is the interest rate, 3.6 percentage. N is the number of compounding per year, which is cell B34. N is again. Here, same thing. T is the number of years. For how long we're going to leave the money in the bank? For five years. Right, so after five years, uh, the amount you invested is going to be $13,360.54. Okay. Alright, on the next table, table seven. Here you're gonna invest every single month for the next five years, and your money is gonna compound. That means you're gonna get interest every month. So every month means number of compounding. There are twelve months in a year, and because you money is gonna compound or get interest every month, that's why twelve in a year. Number of years you're gonna leave your money for the next five years, right? Again, you're gonna use annuity formula. In this case, uh, here's annuity formula. I try to use the I use the major assignment two formula. They are the same, but when I copy the major assignment three formula, for some reason it doesn't work. So I have here the major assignment two formula I just copy and paste it 
All right, this is from major assignment to the formula, okay? All right, principle, the amount you're gonna deposit every month is 280 cents. R is interest rate, which is 4.6%. N is how many times it's gonna compound per year, 12 times. All right, B42, N is again, B42, which is 12 times in a year. T is the number of years, which is five years. Click on B43. R is again the interest rates. 4.6% and is the number of times can kind of compound per year, which is 12. All right, so after five years, um, I'm gonna have 19,021 and then and cents, all right? So, Using those values, I'm going to add up $13,360.54 plus this one, $19,021.99. I'm going to add up those and how much money I need uh, to have $42,418.65 after five years. Uh, cents after five years. So how much I would be short as a whole thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find out how much I would be short. So hit in uh, on the table eight. First you're gonna find out how much you're gonna be short. So equal your total cost you need for your project is this amount for two thousand four hundred eighteen dollar sixty five cents. All right, that's the amount you need. Then you're gonna subtract. Uh, the amount you already um, computed All right you can add up this value plus the next value all right so that's where you know how much you're going to be short so now you need ten thousand 36 and 13 cents all right ten thousand dollar almost ten thousand dollar all right you're gonna be short that much amount so you're gonna get a loan for that so to get a loan you're gonna use a payment formula all right the so number of payment per year you're gonna pay every month your loan all right to pay it back and the number of years is five years right so your PMT is computed using this formula right PMT all right you're gonna do the same way I did on table six and seven in case this formula really give you have time go to major assignment two and the copy the same formula maybe there's a type error for some reason so but this is the formula you're going to use for PMT enter each uh, value to the corresponding variables and you're going to find the PMT okay how much you pay per month all right All right, um, I think that's the basic idea. However, make sure you write up project should focus on humanitarian assistance and follow the instruction. All right, all right, thank you for watching.